Alright guys, I was not able to get the parts I needed today. I'll try again tomorrow. That's the only reason why this wheel is still here. However, this is a short tutorial. It is a must for anybody here who's truly trying to understand what's going on here. I've noticed a lot of people make a lot of very ignorant comments. Ignorant means you just don't understand yet. There's nothing wrong with being ignorant. It's like a surgeon, a brain surgeon. He was ignorant at one point in time. Now he's no longer ignorant. He knows how to operate on brains. The same thing here. Uh, people who leave these comments don't understand everything. And I realize some of you who are actually trying to make a point to understand this, I don't believe I've done my due diligence to properly explain the dynamics of what's going on here with my stator. So I'm going to keep this down to about five or six minutes and move along quickly. So just repeat the video if you need to. Okay, watch this. Here's my stator. I put the word top on top and squiggly lines on the back side of the stator. As you'll notice here, when I put the screw behind it, what happens? Absolutely nothing. There's no magnetic field. See? Okay. Turn this around and watch what happens. Boom. Okay. So, and you can see on this, on there, really strong. <clears throat> so I'll have to pull it off. Okay. Now, that's part one. Part two. I refer to this as a runway plate. Taking turns is like an airplane coming for a runway, but it's a really short runway. <laughs> okay, so what we have here is we have the magnets on the wheel swooping in like the little teeny weeny airplanes made out of magnets, and they come in here for a landing. They come up high and they swoop in down an angle because why? Magnets are always attracted to the closest point. So this will be the closest point, even though this is being attracted. This is magnet to metal attraction, but over here it's magnet to magnet attraction. So what we have here is stronger back, weaker here, stronger here, which does what? Gives direction to the magnets. But the additional formula why this does what it does is very simple, is that the magnets are attracted to the closest point, despite the magnets in here. You could take out the magnet. And this data will still work. It just won't work as well, but it'll still work. Don't believe me? Watch this. I have here this good old-fashioned angle iron that's designed to put up bookshelves. I put it up over here at an angle here, and there's no magnet on this. None on the back here either. Okay? So watch this. Put this at a good starting point. Right about there will do. No, I didn't start it. I didn't push it that hard. That is doing that on its own with no magnetic field here. Now, this will fizzle out in a moment because it gets to the gap and it can't go any further. Okay? So, what's going on here is that this piece of steel is acting like a runway. So, the magnets are swooping in and sees this closest point is over here. So, it comes in and then what? It runs at a runway. But the inertia, the momentum just takes it right off the edge, and the magnet behind it repeats the same process. So all these little magnets, little miniature airplanes made out of magnets, sorry, it's the only analogy I could figure out, think of, that's what does this. So getting back to my stator, that's another part of the formula why these stators work so well, because the magnet, the metal attraction, okay? So the magnet here up in the air is attracted to this, but the closest point is going to be over here. So it swoops in, runs off the end of the runway and just keeps right on going. What I want to do is take this and do a, a repulsion mode as well. So that's it to this tutorial. Now maybe you all understand now that I've explained this a whole lot better. At least I hope I have. And that's why the James Roney Stator does what it does. It's really, in my opinion, a no-brainer. Yet some of you, of course, a lack of understanding, don't understand what's going on here. So that's it. Thank you guys. It's uh, less than five minutes. I've done real good. Let me let you go. And as always, if you're a newcomer, thank you for coming and visiting. Hopefully you'll subscribe because there are some interesting things ahead of us. The rest of you who've been following me for quite some time, I cannot say thank you enough. And those who are beginning to financially support me, thank you, thank you. And more importantly, thank you. Take care.